Anthony Albanese says he believes Australians will stand up for a fair go, quote unquote, for Indigenous Australians by voting for the voice to parliament despite noise from those opposing it. Our political reporter Olivia Casley joins me live in Canberra. Olivia, uh, the Prime Minister has been quite passionate about this in, in the last week or so. He's also rubbish claims uh, that the wording on the votes could, could lead to, you know, a long list of legal challenges. Yeah, that's right, Laura. So he offered quite a fiery rebuke this morning and he said that claims that The Voice is going to open the door to a flood of legal challenges is nothing more than a scare campaign. He invoked both the Mabo decision uh, and also the apology to the stolen generation as examples of major changes that hadn't ended uh, in serious litigation. Uh, he also has said that the media have a responsibility not to assist nonsense in the public debate, as he also said he's not afraid of the polls after... A survey in WA revealed 60% are in favour of The Voice. I was pleased with the poll, but polls will come and go. And when, when a poll's published that shows numbers going down a little bit, you know, I saw one poll of, you know, fall of when, when one of the numbers went from, um, I don't know, you know, 62 to 59 or something like that, and it was like, oh, big fall in support. I'll take 59, thanks very much. This comes, of course, as Indigenous leader Noel Pearson says he's heartbroken by Julian Lisa's criticism of The Voice. He told our colleague, rather, Chris Kenny last night that he isn't happy with the behaviour of the opposition legal affairs spokesman who's been publicly calling on the government to provide a more detail around the role of his executive government in The Voice. He's designing an idea that was very much a product of my engagement with constitutional conservatives, conservatives such as himself. And I, I think, you know, in the aftermath of all of this, this is going to be a great regret for him and for conservatives generally and for the Liberal and National Parties.